This video is shot using the help of JBL Commercial Lavalier Mic. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in one of the most unique places known as the experimental town for human unity, unending education and creativity. Welcome to Oroville. So once you will come here, you will find such hippie clothes, shopping centers and cafes. But Oroville is much more than that. I know you guys are confused, but first let me explain that what I mean when I say it is an experimental town. So Oroville wants to remove human foundations like races, titles, position. In fact, they want to create equal opportunity for all the human beings, be it a teacher, carpenter, painter, which means everyone will be paid equally. There will be no religion, racism. They believe in sustainable living and respecting nature more than anything else. Mostly support local, go local, you know, live for humanity and like, you know, not harm the environment. It's, it's different, it's completely different, the lifestyle and whatever it is. So this place was actually a vision of the mother, Mira Alfasa and Sri Aurobindo, who wanted to create equal opportunities and such a place where all the nationalities can live together without any races, without any differences. So in 1968 at inauguration, representatives from 124 countries and 23 Indian states came together which led to this place known as Oroville. This is uh, the area to walk on where visiting point or Matri Mandir. Ke or. So in Oroville, basically, you will Indians. There are some 59 nationalities, 2600 adults, 672 children and it is such a beautiful sight to see that so many people are living together, staying together, celebrating together. And one of the things that really inspired me was the youth fair because over there, there was this fest where everyone came together, was singing, making pizza, dancing together. It was just amazing. Whoa. So guys, it is hard to imagine that at that time, there was nothing here. It was just barren land. And now, at this time, there is so much greenery. So people who have listened to your audio and are listening to your audio, it is JBL Commercial Battery Powered Lavalier Mic, which is compatible with smartphones, tablets, most DSLR cameras and mixer amplifier because of its 3.5 mm TRRS jack. So as you can see, this mic is omnidirectional. I am going 360 degrees and the audio quality is still the same. Hai. So for omnidirectional, let's test one more thing. I am attaching the mic here on my DSLR camera. Ke. So this is how the audio is like. If I am front facing and if I move 90 degrees, then I am the mic audio pick kar pa rahe because of this omnidirectional feature. And it comes with a carry pouch which you can keep your JBL ka mic. Rakh sakte ho. This is available exclusively on JBL Commercial brand store on Amazon for Rs. 9.99. So JBL Commercial has helped me a lot in creating travel vlogs so you guys stay tuned for more JBL products which offer legendary epic JBL sound now I'm going back to Oroville and I'm going to show you how the views are there so guys this is the We are, we are in a very, very secluded area in Oroville and the roads have suddenly become super narrow and super bad and there is just sand and it's scary to ride because we can slip any time but we are going to a very interesting place. Let's see how it is like. I'll reach there and I'll let you know about it. My name is Chitra. I am from Kotakare. Okay. And you have been working here for how long? 15 years working here. Here I was making recycling work, zero waste policy. So this is what paper? The newspaper? This is Hindu newspaper. Here 20 ladies here working. Now it's here Corona time is here, order is here less. That's why it's a rotation is here, five ladies, six ladies working every day. So you see this earrings? Yeah. Actually, this is made out of uh, the bottleneck. It's a pet bottle. Oh wow. That has become 
this uh, dvd oh, wow we are recycling that uh, those dvds are you an orvillian yes i'm an orvillian so and yeah. since how long have you been here i've came in 1997 so i've been 24 years here oh, wow. yeah Yep. and you're from where basically? from australia australia mm -hmm. i was really inspired by the dream of oroville okay. and um i felt very at home here when i first visited and it just was everything i'd, I'd been kind of dreaming about okay. um i felt it was a really beautiful place with an incredible vision of human unity and sustainability and really trying to create a new way of living regarding sustainability as well can you explain yeah. how this started and what you're doing here exactly sure so we do um cloth pads cloth washable menstrual pads increase the efforts towards creating a social enterprise which would build reach for the products so not just for oroville but to see if we could create income generating opportunities for rural women and offer india an option of a um, sustainable non polluting menstrual product five six cloth pads would probably be good for a cycle they last about 75 washes which means pretty much up to 4 5 years if you look after them and a full cycle kit which has seven pads is about 1500 rupees oh, so nice. yeah these two stories inspired me so much because they are ladies lady entrepreneur and they are moving their life in such a beautiful way protecting the environment and doing it in a sustainable way which was amazing i was very very inspired with more than 3500 people staying there aap logo ko bahut sare ghar bhi dekhne ko milenge but no one owns the property it is owned by the community no one actually owns that land so this is your creativity you have built this Yes, this was made by my husband. I think in 1990 or so. The best part is this actually the, the hatch door. Yeah, yeah, it's it's down. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> That is very creative. Yes. Then you can do your yoga meditation here. It's lovely. We could see the Bay of Bengal. What? Yeah, we could a long time ago, but then with all the trees. we cannot see it anymore you know that oroville runs on a cashless economy system so uh, for the most part what we get is a form of maintenance which is basically fulfilling all our basic needs uh, and that is groceries and uh, you know if we want to contribute for example for a yoga class all of that is free for orovillians we have a lot of benefits education is free for the most part you are given an account and uh, it's a virtual thing because you never really uh, transact the way you would in a normal bank mm -hmm. and uh, so with this account uh, your maintenance is deposited there every month you can go to portus you can go to tanto you can go to visitor center uh, get whatever you need and it is debited from that account but oroville also has a gross grocery system where it is uh, you don't even need to uh spend out of your account for every shopping trip you give a minimum contribution every month and then you take what you need in my view human unity is exactly this that people from different cultures and races are coming together here and we are able to live together i think that's beautiful so my husband is french i'm from north india and we have two lovely boys so in our family we have english french हिंदी एंड तमिल तो अभी हम एक यूथ सेंटर आए हैं यहाँ पे इस यूथ सेंटर में बहुत ही क्रिएटिवली हाउसेस बिल्ड किए गए हैं सिर्फ वुड से और ट्रीज से So over here, people come and practice art. Uh, they want to grow vocationally and they let their creativity flow in free form. So यहाँ पे whatever they are thinking, they draw, they paint, they build creative houses and it is it is like a world in another world <laughs> you are good too biggest seesaw ever तो ओरवल जब स्टार्ट हो रहा था तो बहुत सारे नेशनैलिटी से बसेस में बैठ के लोग आए थे वन ऑफ द बस ये है अब ऑफ कोर्स आर्ट बन चुका है ये क्रिएटिव सब बन चुका है बट ऐसी बसेस में लोग आए थे दिस इज सच अ कलरफुल वन सो राइट ना 
वी आर इन टैंटोस बीच ये और उबल के बहुत ज़्यादा पास है और पीछे बीच क्लीन अप हो रहा है और सनसेट बहुत सुंदर हो रहा है बट मुझे खुशी नहीं हो रही सनसेट को देखते हुए क्योंकि इतना ज़्यादा प्लास्टिक है ये लोग चार बजे से लगे हुए हैं और अभी टाइम हो रहा है साढ़े पाँच डेढ़ घंटा हो चुका है और अभी तक प्लास्टिक उठा रहे हैं एंड आई थिंक दीज गाइज विल लेट यू नो बेटर द इम्पैक्ट इट हैज़ ऑन द मरीन लाइफ सो आई जस्ट लर्न दैट थर्मोकॉल वन इट गेट्स वेर इट बिकम्स इन द स्मॉलर पार्टिकल्स एंड मरीन लाइफ टेन टू थिंक इट्स फिश एग्स सो दे एंड अप ईटिंग इट एंड इंस्टेंटली डाई it's so thin it's so thin it might break into millions and millions of micro pieces we call it microplastic with a less than 5 mm in length it ends up in the ocean again ingested by the fishes and then it comes to humans it's a cycle so recently there was a study where we found microplastic even in the placenta of a mother's womb if that doesn't scare you I don't know what would. So real Oroville can only be explored with a local. और जब आप अंदर जाते हो main streets में which you can only go with the help of a local, आपको बहुत कुछ देखने को मिलेगा कि people are doing so much. Some are doing organic farming, some are researching about cashless economy. Some people are in village development. They believe in handicraft and small scale industries, healthcare education. We took part in music therapy. There was also a potter's market where everyone was showing their art and talent. And then we also have like other extra curricular subjects like ATB. It's not really a subject, but like you learn about your body, like how it works. You have to like meditate and then like feel your body, like your senses. After school, everybody should go to like a extracurricular sports activity. We don't have exams. We have like tests to like uh, see if you can pass to the next grade or not. It's just to see what you have, what, like what are you good in and what you're not so great in. So if you are not so great in one particular subject, let's say maybe science, then what happens? Do you go to the next? class next level or no you still go to the next class is just that the teacher helps you more in that subject isn't oroville awesome all i want to say is don't come to oroville just thinking it's some tourism hub but try to understand how these people are living so differently in such a unique way for me being in oroville is is more than just a lifestyle i mean it's it's a place that i feel deeply at home and has a meaning around you know really creating an experiment for a whole different way of living and i think it's a really important experiment um very much needed in our global situation right now try to impart all of this into your life unending education and constant progress creativity from anywhere from any part of the world until then i'll see you guys in the next video hope you liked it बाकी लाइक शेयर कमेंट सब्सक्राइब फॉर द एल्गोरिदम बाय बाय टेक केयर